Kuluku. They are everywhere, living among us. Who are they? Why are they? I can't find my, my iPhone. Your neighbors, friends, family. So they told me we didn't get the money. But I just want to know if you can tell me where is the money go? We have a lot of work to do in this realm. There are mediums everywhere, but only two larges. We can't truly know who the real Kulupus are. That's why we need the help of the gifted. Your name, please, sir. My name is, um... Sorry? Sir? I don't know. I have no idea what you just said. My name is Predley. And what is it that you're after, Predley? I uh, say so, uh, about a couple of months ago, I took some Let's money. Just, just get to the gist, so, yeah. Let's yeah. Just... Oh, basically, I'm sending money to my family. Oh, you got money? How much money did you send them? Oh, it's about $108. So they told me, I said, oh, we didn't get the money. So I just want to know if you can tell me. OK. What, where does the money go? And where does the money go? In order for me to find where the money went, I need Bradley to walk us through the last moments he saw the money. Behind the shop. So just, like, next to the... There's like a car next to there, and there's just like a rubbish next to the car. It's really itchy over here. And so what happened was I took it, I walked down to the this aisle, it's what do you call it, like a duck alleyway? Yes. Yeah, and then the man say, oh, you're sending money to over there? I said, yeah, I'm sending money to over there. And then I give him the money, he gives me a receipt. I'm taking everything in, and I really hope that everything comes back out. The next exercise involves automatic writing is a special skill that involves um, what writing automatically. I'm talking to you, facing you. Yeah. And an entity will enter my right hand mm. when you start talking. OK. If it doesn't fall asleep. And uh, it's going to show where the funds went to. OK. OK. Yeah. $108 yes. and uh, 52 cents. Yes. With the uh, fee, it's about an extra $200. Yes. So it's about... $300 all up. OK, excellent. The... So basically, I've come up with an answer. Yeah. Well, I haven't, but Mariah Hand has. Yeah. You're a liar. Sorry? You're a liar because the spirit told me... I'm silly. ...that you went to McDonald's mm. and you thought you bought three Big Macs, mm. six fillets, oh. two chicken nuggets... No, I think it was chicken meal. ...ten times yeah. in the span of um, three minutes. And I think you actually need help with your articulation because I had no idea what you just said. What I don't you... know where you're from. Where are you from? From Saipan. So what we've got to do, right, is mm. we've got to change your accent. Because I'm also a clairvoyant. OK. And a clear audience and clear sentient. Mm. So what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to hypnotise you. Yeah. Although it's got nothing to do with being clairvoyant. And we're going to change your accent. Thank you. OK. OK. So look into my eyes. My eyes over here. Oh, OK. And go into a complete trance. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Oh, shocker. Just mm. breathe again again and breathe out that way. Excellent. OK, now let's um, see what you've got to say. How do you feel? I don't quite know how to feel about this, to be very honest. What's happened to my voice? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know what's going on here. I can understand everything you're saying now. Isn't that amazing? Diddly deep potatoes. You know, I feel like some bangers and mash now, innit? On that day, Master Wayne, I won't want to be right. Listen, and you don't do the broken voice unless it's very, very emotional. She was only 16. And today, Matthew, I'm going to be doing my mate, Harry Potter. Oh, Quidditch. Yeah, you better Quidditch. Isn't that amazing? Just like that, if you believe in trancing... I don't know how to repay you. Um, I, I you don't actually know have an extra to pay you. you. I don't have any money because I'm looking for it, innit? 